Hello there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have the My Favorite Things Snow Globe Greeting Card Kit, which I'm pretty sure is not available anymore, but I will have that linked down below. I just, I've had this for over a month and I'm finally getting the opportunity to edit some footage here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what did come in this kit. There was the Snow Globe Greeting, which is so great. It has all those different greetings and those would fit perfectly on the bottom of your little snow globe. It comes with all of the um, snow globe shaker pouches. It has the tall snow globe die and the mistletoe kisses die. And then uh, it also comes with a bunch of cardstock. So you're going to get some craft cardstock. You're going to get some milk chocolate, some snow cone, berrylicious, Gumdrop Green, Jelly Bean Green, Red Hot, Wild Cherry, four of the Smooth White, and then one of the Silver Sparkle. So we'll go ahead and get started making some cards with this kit. For my first card, I have some of the Smooth White cut down to four inches by five and a quarter, so this would be a little bit smaller than an A2 size card front. And I'm gonna take one of the sentiments, I'm gonna take the Merry Kissmas and pardon my head, but I'm gonna stamp that all along that left-hand side all the way down. And I'm using some, this is the Distress Oxide tot, Tattered Rose. So I wanted it to be nice and subtle and just mostly on that background. And so you can see it, but it's not like in your face. Now I'm going to take the die, this is the tall snow globe die, and I cut that apart and I'm just going to take some of my washi tape and I'm going to tack that down, kind of trying to center that as best as possible. And then I will cut that right out of the center, but I'm going to keep my centerpiece because I plan to use that. I want there to be some cohesion in, uh, in my card. So, and I made one of these once before already, so I'm going to have two of these, but um, so that's why you see a cut already out of my cardstock. I am using my magic powder bag over that. I'm going to stamp down the Merry Christmas using some Versamark ink. Cover that with some Brutus Monroe Gilded Embossing Powder, which is a gold embossing powder, and it's a detail one. And then I'll just heat that till that is smooth and melted, and I love the gold on that brown like that. It's so nice. And then I'll um, use that matching die, or the, the snow globe die, to cut that out at the bottom. And then we'll have our lower part of our snow globe. My card base is going to be some of the snow cone cardstock that came in the kit, and I've already folded that in half. Uh, this is a top folding A2 size card. I'm positioning my white piece over the top, putting a little glue on that cutout piece, and then I'm just going to stick that down and move that out of the way. I will use some multi-medium matte adhesive to adhere my shaker pouch to the front or the back actually, technically it'll be on the back of my cardstock piece. And I'm gonna set that off to the side to dry. And then I'm gonna start using that same liquid glue to adhere down parts of my mistletoe. So this one comes from the Mistletoe Kisses die. And I cut it out of both of the greens because I wanted there to be two different colors. And then I'll just tack those down. This glue works great because if it does seep out, it'll just leave a matte finish, which is fine. And I really did love this kit. Like I said, I've had these cards done for almost a month now or however long, you know, I've had this kit, which has been quite a while, but I just haven't had an opportunity to edit this footage. I have some of the little bead trays. I cut out a bunch of the berries using some of that red cardstock. And I also cut out a bunch of the bows using the silver silver sparkle and the red so that I could use those on different cards later. My plan actually was I did all of my die cutting for all of my cards. And then this way I was able to, I just had a bunch of die cuts sitting off to the side and then I could let the creative juices just flow and start making stuff. And then I wasn't so worried about like, oh, I need to die cut this now and then I need to die cut that. If I needed pieces, I could do it, but for the most part I had everything already die cut and ready to go. I'll use that same Tombow, not Tombow, this is the Ranger Multimedium Matte. And I'm using my Crystal Katana. This thing is great. It's picking up those little cardstock berries very very easily and I'm even able to flip them super easy and then I'll just stick those down onto the little dots of glue that I had so uh, and I'm being pretty generous with my berries I will probably need to do a little bit more die cutting with those red berries and then I need to add my shaker bits so I have some Nuvo Diamond Harlequin confetti and I'm going to use my tool my spoon to this is the Nuvo tool to just scoop a couple scoops of that out of there. And I tend to go overboard with shakers. I don't know why I just tend to overfill them. 
I think I kind of found a happy medium with this one. I put about three scoops of the Distress Glitter in there. And then I'm going to use that same Ranger Multimedium Matte. It would probably be better to use like a just a dry glue, but this is what I had handy at the time and I wanted to see if it would work okay. And this glue does dry pretty quickly, so it's not a big deal. But then I'm just able to stick that right over the top. You know, use my fingers to make sure that things are adhered down very nicely. And then I'm going to set that off to the side to dry a little bit while I prepare my sentiment. I put some foam tape on the back of that and I'll just peel off the release paper and then I'll stick that down. And once that is adhered to the front of the card, that's going to finish off our first card. So here we go, fun little shaker. And I do like how the glitter kind of sticks to some parts because it gives it this ethereal feel to that shaker. And so like I said, I did make two of them, so I have two there. Card number two is a little bit simpler card. I did end up using uh, one slice of each of the Gumdrop Green and Jelly Bean Green cardstocks. And what I'm doing here is I have some Distress Ink in the color Forest Moss and I'm using a mini ink blending tool and starting in the center and then blending out from there. I want it to be nice and concentrated there in the center because I plan to take some of the die cuts that I did, which was the Mistletoe Kisses out of the Silver Sparkle. And I'm just going to adhere a couple of those down to that one coming out of the top. So this one won't be a shaker like um, this kit had intended with all those shaker pouches. But this is just an easy way to, you know, take some of that, not mess, but fuss out. So you could make plenty of cards like this without necessarily having to make shakers if those really aren't your thing. And, um, you know, if you like this die, you can get it separate anyway, because like I said, I'm pretty sure this kit's sold out. So like I said, I'll have it all listed separately down below. So I have two of them. I'm just going to take a block and stick that on top so that those will adhere nicely. I have one of the red bows that I had cut out, and I'm going to use that same Ranger Multimedia Matte Glue on there using my reverse tweezers to hold those. And then I'll stick that down right over the top of where those two overlap. And then I'll take my block and put that back down on top as well. I had already cut out and stamped and um, embossed using some Brutus Monroe Sterling Sparkle, my sentiment, and then I'll just stick that down, which that one says Holiday Greetings. And now I'm going to adhere some of the berries doing the same method that I did earlier, which is just the same liquid glue and my crystal katana. And so I'll put drops of glue down and then I'll pick up the little berries and just pop those on to having a heck of a time with a few of those. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to cut out more of those berries. And then when I'm done with that, I will, because I'd already uh, scored these at five and a half inches, I'll use a bone folder to make sure that those are nice and creased. And so I felt like this card just needed a little something extra. So I did grab my T ruler along with the silver Uniball Signo gel pen. And I'm just lining that up so I can make a straight line. So I'm giving it a stitch look. And so it just looks like there's some faux stitching all around the card. And it just adds a little bit of extra something something to this card. And when I'm done with that, that will actually finish it off. And as I said, I did make two of these as well. So this one's a super easy card to duplicate. Card number three is going to be another shaker. So I've got some more of that white cardstock that I have trimmed down to four inches by five and a quarter. And I am going to take the tall snow globe and cut that right out of the center. But I'm not going to keep that center piece for this, um, this card because I want that red to show through. So I'll cut that out. And my card base is going to be some of the, I believe this one is the red hot. It could be the wild chair. I'm not 100% sure. But I had cut that down to four and a quarter by 11 inches and scored it five and a half inches. And now I'm going to just put a little, um, I'm going to trace the inside of that. And of course, make a mark on my, <laughs> my white piece. But I'm just lightly tracing that so I know where exactly to put my uh, mistletoe. And then I'll just use an eraser to clean up my mistake. All right, once I have that cleaned up, I'm going to grab a couple of the green mistletoe. And I'll adhere those the exact same way that I have for all of them. Just putting little dots of glue on the back. And they're both adhered. And then I'm going to use one of the silver bows because, you know, if I used red, it wouldn't show. And I thought the silver would be pretty. And now if you look up mistletoe on Pinterest or anything like that, you'll see red berries, of course, but you're also going to see white berries. And I don't really know a lot about mistletoe, but I thought that's really pretty. So I did cut some of the berries out of white 
and I'm going to disperse those all over my sprigs of mistletoe so that I have those little white berries all over and they'll really pop next to that red background which is just super super pretty I love that bright red and then once I'm done with that I'm going to show you a different way to adhere the shaker pouches and I did use liquid glue on the first shaker card this time I am using some score tape this is the 1 8 inch score tape from scrapbookpal.com and so I'll have that linked down below as well and I just put that all around the outside edge and I'll peel off the release paper and then I can stick down my die cut piece the negative from that and then that'll be good to go and I don't have to worry about anything drying. Now I'm taking some score tape. This is the half inch score tape and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to put this all over my background but the thing with this is I want to make sure that it is overlapping where I have my shaker pouch so that uh, once this is adhered to the card front none of the shaker elements will be able to peel out of there if that makes or not peel but uh, shake out of there if that makes any sense. And once again, I did make two cards with this, like I have for the first two cards. I figured if I'm making one, you're making Christmas cards, you might as well make two. So I did make two. And um, the first one, I only use one of the shaker elements that I'm going to show you here in a second. But for this card, I did use two of those elements. So I'll peel off all of that release paper. I'm not actually going to stick it down yet because I don't have any of my shaker bits in there. Uh, because I creased my card really nicely, I can go ahead and put those shaker elements right into the center where I have made my little lines, you know, where I, where I outlined the window. And this stuff is some Polar Flower Soft, Polar White Flower Soft. I'm pretty sure they do not make this anymore. I've had this for probably at least a decade, <laughs> uh, but it's great. I wish they did because that stuff is so nice. And then I'm going to just use a little bit of my magic powder bag on the inside so that the elements don't stick too much. I'll use my spoon again and I will take bits of the Distress Glitter and put that on the inside as well. My first card only uses the Flower Soft. This card uses Flower Soft and Glitter. And to be honest, I think I like the Flower Soft and the Glitter because it gives this ethereal look. It kind of, you know, the glitter coats a little bit of the inside of the shaker, which is kind of cool. And it's neat and I don't know, I just really like that glittery bit. I'll peel off the release paper from my sentiment. I did, once again, emboss this using some Brutus Monroe Sterling Sparkle. And there you have our two shaker cards. One just The one on the left just has the Flower Soft. The one on the right has Flower Soft and Glitter. And if I can find that Flower Soft, I'll definitely link it down below, but I'm pretty sure they don't make it anymore. All right, so card number four is another pretty easy card. To start off, I, my card base is some of that white cardstock. And this is a top folding A2 size card, but I have used my magic powder bag because I want to put my sentiment on there right away. And I used Versamark ink to stamp that out. And then I'm going to cover that with the gilded embossing powder. The reason I put my sentiment down first is because I'm the rest of my elements are going to be around that. So I definitely needed my centerpiece so that it would be easier to know exactly where to put the mistletoe. So I'll just heat that till that is smooth and melted. In doing so, this did warp my cardstock, which I will fix later. And I'm sure some of you even know the little trick, but it was something that I kind of discovered and I thought, oh, that's really kind of cool. All right, so I'm just putting down all of my mistletoe, doing the exact same thing that I've done for all the rest of them, just using that multimedia mat to adhere it down, putting using my reverse tweezers to stick some of those down, and then I'll cut off all the excess pieces. One of those pieces that was cut off, I end up using as like another sprig for another spot. And um, then I'll flip that over and then I'll trim off all of those excess bits. I love doing this, like having pieces come off of your cardstock because then it gives the illusion that there is more to it. And it's at this point that I'm looking at it going, okay, well, it sort of looks like it's all warped and uh, I don't really like that look. And because this is basically almost a flat piece, I decide to stick this through my die cutting machine. I stuck it through my two plates and then just ran it through my die cutting machine and not only did it flatten it, it kind of embedded the dies into the cardstock, which was really cool. I really like the look. You can't really probably tell from here, but it's kind of a neat look. So like all the others, I'm just using my crystal katana and I'm sticking down those berries into those uh, pieces. But as a final bit of embellishment, I'm going to use some Nouveau drops in the color bright gold. And I'm just putting a few of those drops all over the place 
And then once I'm done with that, that is going to finish off this card. And I made two of these as well. And I love how they both turn out. So you can kind of see one looks more embedded and the other one, they're kind of sticking on top. For this bonus card, I did use the Candy Twist stencil from the Rabbit Hole Designs along with some Nouveau Expanding Mousse in the color Red Leather. And I heated that up. I also used some of the Silver Mistletoe along with some Simply White Nouveau Drops. And that's how we were able to come up with this bonus card. So let's take a look at all the cards that I did make today. I made a couple, you know, each one I made, I doubled up except that bonus card. And I would love to know what you think. If you have a favorite, I know they're all pretty similar considering they're mostly die cuts, but I would love to know if you had a favorite of all these. So go ahead and leave that in the uh, comment section down below. And I'll have everything that I use listed in the description box down below. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for all the love and support y'all give me. And um, as always, thank you guys so much for stopping by.